So as you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is right around the corner. And with Call of Duty Black Ops 6, we are getting the return of round-based zombies, boys. Um, there's been some new trailers that I've released. And it's looking pretty spicy, boys. So I thought today we'll do something a little fun. We're going to be ranking every version of Call of Duty Zombies on a tier list, boys. All right? Every version of Call of Duty Zombies on a tier list ranked. We'll start off where it all started. And just to say, when it comes to these ranking, boys, when it comes to these rankings, all right, I am going to be ranking them off how good the game actually was, the nostalgia factor, the influence that game had on more games in the franchise. Yeah, bro. So, uh, yeah, let's just hop into it. So we'll start off with uh, World at War. Call of Duty World at War. Um, I'm going to say it's a... Uh, I'm going to say Call of Duty World at War. Ooh, this might be... I'm going to I'm gonna say World at War is A tier. I'm going to say... I feel like if you, if you have... I'm not going to lie. I didn't have any DLC for World at War. So... I only had Knocked. Nocturne Toten, the default map, and as you guys know, it's no perks on that map. It's a very bare bones map. So I feel like, from the perspective of somebody who only had Knocked and not any of the DLCs like Verrucked or anything, I would say that it's B tier. But if you have the full package, then it's A tier. Because in the DLCs, that's when they first added the perks and stuff. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with A tier. Call of Duty World at War is an A tier zombies game, boys. It started it all. Introduced a lot of features that are still in the game today. And while the first map, Nocturne Toten, is pretty bare bones with only having the mystery box and wall weapons, it is still a very iconic map. And yeah, bro, I think it deserves going A tier. Black Ops 1, boys. Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1, I'm going to say, I kind of want to say A tier also. Should I move World at War down to B tier? Nah, I can't. They're both A tier. Black Ops 1 is a good game, boys. You got Kino, Dirt Toten, Ascension, Moon, Shangri La. A lot of classics, boys. A lot of classics. You got five. Five in there. Dang, bro. Black Ops 1 might be S tier, bro. I don't know. There's like a huge bias with all this. Um, Black Ops 1 is goaded. I think I got to go S tier for Black Ops 1. While, while World at War introduced a lot of features, Black Ops 1 like solidified those features and made them like a mainstay. And it introduced a lot of new perks too. And just the like additions to the zombies game mode that have stayed in over the years. I don't know. This might be a little biased, but I really think Black Ops One is is S tier. Black Ops Two. You guys already know. Like this is such a biased review, but you guys already know Black Ops Two. That's about to be S tier two. Got Mob of the Dead, Transit. Got town. Got nuke town zombies even. Die rise. Origins. These are all these are all bangers, boys. And this was the first uh game to introduce the crafting where you can build with the buildables and stuff. Yeah, bro. 
Black Ops 2 is S tier, bro. If you want to disagree, then I don't know, bro. But Black Ops 2 is S tier for sure. Um, Black Ops 3. Loki. I'm not even going to lie, bro. Bro, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to move black. This is a little biased. I'm going to move. I'm going to move Black Ops 1 down to A tier, all right? Just to space this out a little bit. And I'll even say that it goes from best to worst. So Call of Duty is Black Ops is higher on my list than World at War. And Black Ops 2 is higher on my S tier than Black Ops 3. But the reason why Black Ops 3 is going up onto S tier is not only because they added Zombies Chronicles, which is like a remake of all of Black Ops and World at War inside Black Ops 3. It was like a DLC. Um, that's one reason. And um, it was just really fun. Black Ops 3 was really fun. It felt like Black Ops 2, but just a little bit, a little bit, with a little bit more flair. Had that nice movement in there, sliding. Um, Shadows of Evil, bro. Shadows of Evil. That's an underrated map, bro. Like, when all these games come out, there's a starting map. The starting map for a Zombies game is very important. Because before any of the DLCs come out, people are going to be replaying that map a lot. So having a good starter map on release is very important. And Shadows of Evil, that's like, I almost have nostalgic for Shadows of Evil, boys. Shadows of Evil was a great starting map. And uh, they had the Doris remake, the giant on, on BO3. And Der Eisendrack was fire. Great DLC. Yeah, bro. Black Ops 3 was... Black Ops 3 was it. Black Ops 3 was it. And now this is where we get a little... A little sus, boys. We got Black Ops 4, boys. Bro, Black Ops 4. Or this is where we're getting into the mid territory boys um what was the i know it was chaos crew i don't know the name of the map i think there's two maps at launch there's like um there's like the titanic map and then there was like the gladiator map i don't really remember liking either one i remember the trailer for the um, Titanic map intrigued me, but once it came out, it didn't pique my interest for long. So I'm just going to say Black Ops 4 Zombies is average. It's not terrible. It's not good. It's not great. It's not amazing. You know, it's just average. Um, The, cr the main crew wasn't that crazy you know it was just very very average and i know there's some people who really like black ops 4 somehow i'm not sure but um yeah um all right cold war zombies bro cold war zombies that was a return to form boys we needed that in 2020 boys Cold War Zombies is a solid A tier. Cold War Zombies is a solid A tier video game, boys. The starting map, which was a reimagining of Nocturne Toten, was pretty spicy, boys. Once again, when I talk about these starting maps, if it's a good starting map, you're going to remember playing on that map at launch. And I remember playing... I'm not even gonna lie, I don't remember what the map was called. I'll look it up real quick. D Machine. Yeah, D Machine was a good 
good starting map for sure. And I liked um I liked all the features they added, honestly. I know you could uh you could like choose what weapon you wanted to spawn in with and there's just a lot of quality of life changes. And I'm I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. You know what? You know what? You know what? Cold War Zombies was good. It was good. But I do remember it being kind of easy. It was kind of easy. It was kind of noob friendly. But it, but the core, like we haven't had a good zombies since Cold War for a long time. So I'm honestly going to bring Cold War down to B tier. It's still a very, very good Zombies game. And I'd much rather play it than any of the other games we were about to talk about. But I'm not sure if it's OG status near World at War and Black Ops yet. So we're just going to keep Cold War Zombies at B tier. It's still a very fun game. It brought back the zombies crowd for a while um yeah they cooked with that they cooked i really hope that this year it is just as good if not better and i think it is going to be better i think it is going to be better boys but let's uh keep going all right boys vanguard zombies we already know where this goes vanguard zombies is terrible not even round based zombies. Yeah, Vanguard Zombies is mid. Couldn't even tell you anything about that trash. They didn't even do round based zombies. Like, I don't even know what they're thinking with that. Complete rubbish, boys. Complete rubbish. All right. Let's move on to Modern Warfare. And this is also going to go into uh, D tier. This year, zombies with Modern Warfare 3, boys, open world zombies, it's not it, boys. They tried to combine DMZ with zombies. The concept seems cool. You know what could have been fire, bro? Is they should have just made it like some DayZ stuff. Where it's like, you're on the Battle Royale map, you spawn in with nothing or just a pistol. And there's other players on the map alongside with the zombies. So it's pretty much like... It could have just been like a battle royale with zombies, honestly. I don't even know. Or they could have just made it more of like a daisy, like there's no zone. You just like survive and... I don't know. I don't know, bro. They should just forget the forget the open world zombies, bro. It's not it. It's not it. It's not it. It's not it. Open world zombies is not it, boys. And now, Black Ops Six, boys. You already know, boys. The hype is real this year. We're just gonna go for S tier because I am hopeful that Black Ops Six will cook, boys. We got new features. You could save your zombies game in a solo match. I can save my game turn off my system come back three days later turn on the game and then load up my save on round 105 and continue where i left off that's a that's a game changing feature for zombies boys um and they also got third person you're gonna be able to switch to third person on the fly boys and we're getting two maps at launch boys and if they're saying it's pretty much just going to be like Cold War, but better than. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued, boys. I'm intrigued. Very, very intrigued. But anyway, boys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Doing a tier list on all the Call of Duty Zombies games, boys. I'm pretty hyped for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. We got Zombies back, boys. Zombies is back. And I don't think Treyarch will let us down. Let's hope not, boys. Let's hope not.